Hello students, today we will study unit number 4 which is electrical machines. So in this video, we are going to understand the construction and the working principle of resistance start induction motor which is also known as a split phase induction motor. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. So firstly, that type of motor is a type of single phase induction motor. And in this motor, starting torque is produced with the help of this resistance R or you can say with the help of this resistor, motor is started. That is why it is known as resistance start induction motor. Now question may arise that how with the help of resistor we can start the motor. So, for that purpose, answer is simple that that resistor will produce the phase difference between the two currents which are flowing from the main winding and from the starting winding. How? We will see in this video. So, now we will move on with the construction. So, in the construction, what we can say that it has basically two windings. First winding is known as a main winding and another winding is known as a starting winding. Now both of these windings are connected parallel with each other. So over here in the diagram we can say that suppose from this supply if I current will come. So at this junction say in this branch I will say that I S current will go and in this branch say I M current will flow. I S means second starting current and I M means uh, main winding current. So that current is divided that's why we can say that starting winding and main winding both are connected parallel with each other and both are connected across the single phase AC supply say V potential. After that we will describe about this main winding. So that main winding is designed in such a way that it has high inductance L means inductance and it has low resistance. Okay, that means that becomes what series LR circuit and you know that in series LR circuit what happens? Whatever current is there, that current lags behind the potential that you know very well that already we have studied in series LR circuit. Okay, after that we will talk about the starting winding. That starting winding is designed in such a way that uh, its inductance is low but having high resistance. That means again it will behave like a series LR circuit and in series LR circuit we know very well that whatever current is there that current will lag behind the potential by some phase or phi. Okay. After that with the starting winding we are connecting one resistor in series and with that resistor one centrifugal switch is connected in series. Now this centrifugal switch is a automatic switch. Generally this switch is in closed condition and when that rotor will start to rotate and reaches to its 70% speed from its normal speed then automatically that centrifugal switch will be open so that now starting winding is separated from the main circuit so that rotor will keep continue its rotation with the help of this main winding. Now how that we will understand with the help of a working principle that when current is given to the motor at that time whatever current is flowing through this main winding which is IM will be lag behind the potential whatever current which is flowing through this main winding will be lag behind that is potential that is potential V lag behind the potential lag behind the potential by say 5M why because we know very well in series LR circuit current lags behind the potential by 5M okay and whatever current which is flowing which is IS from the starting winding that will also which is IS lag behind the potential say by 5S. Now question may arise that in secondary winding why lagging of current is less as compared to main current. So simple answer is that that for the case of main current what we will say it has high inductance that's why lagging of current is high and in the case of uh, starting current 
in the case of starting current what's happened it has low inductance it has low inductance means lagging of current with voltage is less okay now after that we will draw this type of parallelogram and we can find out the resultant current which is i so that if current will flow so current will produce what you know that it will produce the magnetic field according to the faraday's principle so magnetic field will produce in this direction in this direction magnetic field b will produce that means in this direction that magnetic field will create the magnetic force in that direction so on from the diagram we can say magnetic force is created in this direction like this like this magnetic force is created on what on rotor so due to that magnetic force what's happen now rotor will start in the clockwise direction and when this rotor will reach up to its 70 percent speed from its normal speed at that time whatever centrifugal switch is there that will be open so that now no current will flow from starting winding so that now after onwards that rotor will keep continuing its rotation with the help of a main winding so this is all about the construction working principle of this capacitor that resistance start induction motor now we'll try to understand its uh, torque speed characteristic curve so here i have mentioned from the diagram we can see that if you want to start this motor at that time initial torque is very very much high which is say around 150 percentage of its maximum load value now as speed of the motor is increasing so we can see from the diagram torque is also increasing torque is also increasing now that torque can increase up to its maximum breakdown torque and after onwards torque will be decreased and becomes zero when synchronous speed of the motor becomes actual speed of the rotor now synchronous speed means what it is such a speed which is given by the stator and uh, actual speed of rotor means what it is such a speed on which rotor is rotating and generally synchronous speed is greater than actual speed of the rotor okay now we'll discuss about its application that where this type of motors are used so first one is fan blower separator lathe machine refrigerator and washing machine etc so is video mein bas itna hi so till then read hard work hard thank you very much